Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we made our way into our first Colors of Madness quest and we also rescued someone from the town who had ventured into the ruins. And I'm sure that quest line will continue. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure that's going to progress. And we faced our first harder dungeon with some of the harder enemies and my god... They really are a lot harder. So let's get in. I can't remember if we've got any characters to introduce, in to introduce but we do have a lot of backstories um, slash diary entries to go through. So let's get right into those. Here we are in the Cursed Estate and I've put together a group ready to embark on a long curve mission. We do have quite a lot of diary entries here. We don't have anyone to introduce that I can think of. I don't remember if we have anyone. No, I think everyone here has been introduced. Very close to the cap. I'll have to upgrade that very soon. I'm perfectly willing to have more people get more stories involved. But um, TEA, as he always does, has written a hell of a lot of diary entries for today, which I'm very appreciative of. He has been an absolute titan of this series and I thank you greatly. We'll start off with one from Urku, our Threll. I am lost here. There is no peace. I know nothing but fighting and there is none of that here in the hamlet. The drinks are good, the brothel is better, but I am restless. I have not slept in two days. My bag of coin is nearly empty as well. I need to go back out. He is going to be heading out hopefully pretty soon, but I really wanted to try out Renaud's new um, cold shoulder mixed with Dismas's new, um, par well, not new, but his parry dagger uh, mixed with his sharpening sheath. I think this is going to lead to some insane stuff. And then we're taking out Venus as well with the massively increased damage. I'm hoping that's going to help out Venus a lot. I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, got that repost. Yeah, cool. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff going on there that we can work with. Uh, yeah, we have another one here. This one's from Renault himself, the Crusader. Um, again, by T. Uh, I witnessed the friar shoving and kicking Aaron out of the abbey. A few days later, I crept inside and found the friar and questioned him about the event. He was sitting there, scratching symbols into some rocks and speaking bitterly to me and demanding that I leave. He stormed out with a bag of rocks and headed into the weald. I offered to go with him for protection, but he admittedly refused. Um, what did he find in those ruins? Who knows? Who knows? But we're going to carry on here. Like I said, I've got a crew together. We've got some pretty good stuff going on. Will June's here to, to carry up the back line with, uh, with the healing. Should be able to do great work. I'm going to reorganize these just so we have our healing skills up front. Okay, cool. Um, and as much as bleed doesn't really affect things in the curve... It's not a big deal. And for this, we'll be getting ourselves the fabric strap for the snake charmer, which seems really good, to be honest. We're going to get slightly less stress healing, but we get that move resist, repurse damage, and plus eight speed on the first round, which is amazing. So I, I really, really like that. So let's head in. There is a slight possibility that I may have to pause during this episode. I do apologize if that ends up being the case, but we'll see. So let's make sure we get the things we need first. We'll take 25 food... We'll take 25 torches and then four of those and four of everything else, pretty much. We're probably going to use up almost all of our money here, but I think we should be okay. So let's uh, let's embark and see how this goes. This group, I feel, is going to be really good. Renault and Dismas have been wanting to get out together again for a while. I feel these two have grown quite close while they've been stuck in the hamlet and heading back out into the curve is hopefully gonna gonna bind them together a bit closer and this should hopefully actually level them both up as well which is gonna be really nice we're getting a lot of people leveled up now and really getting in there i'm a little worried about the prospects of the fact that we're gonna have to deal with um we're gonna have to deal with a situation where we're gonna run out of healers that are level two and have to take a few level twos and level three missions which is gonna be scary but Ooh, that's a new enemy, but it's got to be done. That's definitely a new enemy. I don't know if that's a modded enemy or or what here. Um, right, we'll start off. How's your stun resist? Stun resist is pretty high. We'll just start off with a smite then. Seems to have pretty high uh, HP here. Duelist advance. We want to get that repose going. Um, and we'll get you buffed as well. And see, 15 damage there. That's huge. I don't know what sort of attack this thing does, but... Tidal slam for some cr uh, crit there on us. Did a decent amount of damage. Not a ridiculously high amount. Oh, lovely crit there. Um, let's buff that dodge and get that going. That holy lance. 
extra damage. Ooh, this is going to be a good, a good crew, I think. A very good crew indeed. Um, yeah, we'll just get rid of that. 30. Crit for 30. Okay. This is the sort of stuff we like to see. Brian there. Nice dodge, Renault. You did that perfectly. Slice you open. Lovely. Love to see it. That went exceptionally well, considering that was a new enemy. I was a little scared there, but feeling a little better after that combat went so darn well. Uh, we've got to complete all combat rooms here, so we've got to get these guys done here. One cool thing as well is, with our holy lands here, uh, these enemies that are unholy, we're still going to be doing extra damage to those, which works out perfectly for us here. Let's take out these. There's a good chance we could get the, um, the plague here, so we've got to be careful for that. I'm going to do this here and try and get a kill. Um... Do you know what? Oh, I can't hit the back line with that, unfortunately. I was really hoping I could. Let's just go for the buff, then. I really like this buff. It's not all that impactful, but that pl plus 5 crit is really good, especially when she's got that negative crit from the plus 25% damage uh, charm that she's using, the trinket. Mm, unfortunately, it did take a bit of stress there. Finish you off. Get you. And... I'm just going to buff your speed. The um, the dodge, sorry, not speed. Oh, that repulse damage is huge. Soothing slash on you. I knew that was going to hit him. That's fine. That hurt a bit. We got a little bit bleeding us here. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that now while we can. And just go for the slice. Ooh, lovely. A nice crit there. Love to see it. If you think about this, we're getting plus 7% crit here. Um, and I, I can't believe his bleed chance. His bleed chance is insane. Oh my god. Um, let's actually just heal and de-stress here. Oh, he didn't have any stress on him. I'm a bit stupid. Go for the party heal. And finish you off. Nice slice there. Nice slice. And we get some uh, hair of the sea dog, which is awesome. Great to find. That's basically going to mean we can get rid of the curse if we come across it, which I definitely like to see. We also got this as well for the Duchess. Extra healing skills, extra healing received. We're already full up, so we're going to have to give up some stuff at some point, but let's not worry about that for now. Let's hope we find a secret room. Our scouting isn't exactly the best right now. We don't have the highest amount of scouting I've ever seen, but... I think we should be fine to get a few scouts here and there and hopefully find ourselves a secret room on a long adventure. They feel a little more guaranteed. I know that they're guaranteed to show up, but it feels a little more guaranteed that I get the scouting to find one. Of course, I might get unlucky, but we'll we'll see. One of the new enemies I've got here, the um, Aberration. These guys are kind of interesting. We'll try and take them out as quickly as possible. Anytime there's a new enemy, I, I just want to take them out as quickly as possible. These guys have really high bleed resist, so let's, let's just buff you again. Keep you going. Start you off nicely. Coral smash there. That's going to move us around. That doesn't matter, though. That doesn't matter. It delays our setup a little bit, but that strikes straight back in the heart. Oh, I'm loving these crits. Tell you what, I am loving these crits. And this is a very low stress group as well. Very low stress indeed. Um, we have a lot of ways of, re of removing stress. We've got crit heals here. We've got um, Twilight Knight with herself, minus stress. And she's got de-stress and some other people with some other skills as well. Um, and then we've got a de-stress here as well. We've got a lot of ways to remove stress, which is really, really nice to see. Do you know what? Just finish you off. That should kill you. Should be fine there. We've also got the slime here on uh, Renault, just for that extra bit of healing. I like having the slime on someone because it basically means we don't have to worry or focus on them for healing. Um, we've only got three shovels. I'm not going to do that. We've got a lot and a lot of distance to cover here. I don't want to uh, sully our... Uh... That's mighty tempting. That is mighty tempting. It's dangerous because that is a hard fight. But I do think if there's any group to make this work, this is definitely one of them. Um, what we'll do is we'll leave that there and come back to it at a later, uh, like later on, and see if we can see if we have enough gusto left in us to go and do that. But that that could be quite a fun one to try out, and I, it is scary, admittedly, um, to to go after that, considering it's a hard boss and we don't have to fight it. But at the same time, if we could get it beaten, that'd be amazing. 
enter battle stealth. She's got that low chance to enter stealth, which is kind of amazing, actually. We can buff you to start off combat, which is really nice, too. Start off with that. Ooh, the lovely crit. The lovely crit on the melee skills. It's amazing. It is amazing. I, I absolutely love... This is, like, probably one of my favorite setups we've ever had here. Like, everything's just getting one shot. This is why I'm, like so confident in going for the um, the Shambler. Because I genuinely think we have a really, really good chance. Okay, we got ourselves this, the claimants. We definitely want the emeralds. Let's get rid of... I'm actually going to get rid of this because I don't think we'll ever use it. As much as it's cool, I don't think we need it. There you go. I didn't actually have a look at our camping skills here, but yeah, I was going to say, I think we do have a present nine-time ambush, and we have a very good one there in that. Twilight Knight has an amazing one. Venus here. Ooh, nice dodge, Dismas. Nice dodge. Taking a little bit, a little bit of extra stress there, but that's no problem. Um, I think we just go for the kill here. We didn't quite get it, but that's fine. Go for the kill there. Again, didn't quite get it, but that's fine. I think... Nah, let's go for the party heal. I think here we try and get the double kill. Easy. Easy double kill right there. Gonna bring himself to the front and buff himself up a little bit. That extra accuracy definitely hurts. That bleed isn't great. Um, get some dodge on you. Then we don't have to worry about the bleed quite as much. Oh, nice crit. Nice crit. Nice crit. And we can't really do anything here. So let's just de-stress a little bit, shall we? We do have... Uh, uh, less stress healing from this and less normal healing, but overall I think it's fine. I think we don't actually need to worry about that that much, and then you're dead. Nice crit there as well. Lovely. Uh, some deeds. I'd like to take some deeds. Um, what's the mo what's the least likely thing we're going to need here? Uh, bandages have proved pretty useful. What we'll do is we'll just use a bandage and then get rid of two of them. Uh, Eldritch Altar... I think this is going to remove a negative quirk. That doesn't really matter for you. Yeah, let's let's do it on let's do it on you, shall we? Yes, best one to get rid of. That's basically just increased his speed by two permanently, which is awesome. Now his speed's thirteen. Wow. I mean, that's most of that's because of a crit that he got, but even still. That's pretty ludicrous. I like to see that. And we get another one of them here as well. So we can re remove another one. Let's have a look. Um, we probably want to get rid of Kleptomaniac here. I think that's probably the best one. Or Pessimist. Either one of these two is really good to get rid of, actually. And we got rid of Pessimist. That's great. Pessimist basically means that he puts himself down and stresses the party. Well, stresses himself out every now and again for 10. It's rare, but we've seen it happen twice already in this mission. So it's really nice to get that gone straight away. Unfortunately, we're slightly out of position here. Um, we can go for a bleed here because it will... we got to remember that bleeds will proc. They will proc for us because we have such an insanely high bleed chance. Nice. On the Holy Lance there. Extra proc for the crit as well. Like to see it. And then we're going to get an attack with you. So you might as well buff you before the attack happens. You got that guard on there, but that ain't going to matter. We're going to take you down pretty quick. Get that repurse set up. I do realize as well we can set up a repurse on Venus at Twilight Night, but I'm more focused on just getting raw damage output with Venus. So we can set this up, look. But yeah, raw damage output with Venus because she's got that plus 50% damage on uh, Eldritch is insane. Nice one. We can leave Citrine. I'm not too bothered about getting Citrine. Attack is empty, unfortunately. Uh, right. Take you out. We need to get rid of this bloater guy straight away. It's going to be a little bit of bleeding us there. Nope, we managed to get rid of it. I am going to do this, even though it's not going to bleed you. Oh, it did. Nice one. Just because I knew we couldn't hit him with the, um, the Holy Lance, so uh, I wanted to make sure he was going to die. And we are just absolutely tearing through. Tearing through right now. It's insane. Bit of scouting here as well. Lovely. Unfortunately, no critical scout or anything. We do have a brigand here. I actually think he's going to go down very fast, though. I have a feeling he's going to go down very fast. He doesn't He doesn't know what's coming here. 
A blanket fire does hurt us. Yeah, this... This brigand. He didn't know what hit him. Okay, you. No bleed, of course, but we got the damage out. And there you go, the blanket fire. Not a good idea, my dude. Look at that. Look at that. Combat so quick, you'll miss it if you blink. We can leave some busts. I'm fine for those, to be honest. We need to definitely get a party heal on the first move next time around. Uh, I think this is some stress removal or healing. I think it's healing. We'll leave that for now. We don't need that yet. Oh, my God. We got some tapestry. Um, I've not seen that before. We'll definitely go for that. Uh, what can we throw away? Hmm. It, this is definitely a difficult one. Uh, I'm going to throw away the anti-venom and take the tapestry, because that's worth a lot. That's interesting. I've not seen one of those before. Maybe that's something specifically Renault can find, or maybe it's Will June. I'm not sure. Either way, very happy with it. So, start off with a smite here. Unfortunately, no kill. Um, we'll go for the duelist on you, because it sets the throw a person on the less. We'll do that on them too, because it mixes them around. Then we'll go for the party heal here, because we definitely need it. Brings everyone almost to full, not quite. Not quite. Ooh, Will June's getting some big hits on him. It's okay, though. Will, Will, you're okay. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Go for a heal. Critical heal there, getting you back to full health is amazing. Again, oh, first miss, though. That's the first miss we've had in a little while here, so I can't complain. There's another big crit coming out. Holy Lance. And I feel like every attack we make, we get a kill at the moment. It's great. We'll de-stress you a little bit. Make sure everyone's at zero stress or near to. And there's another crit. Crits are just coming out hot and fast. And there's another tapestry. So, unfortunately, the tapestries do not stack. Which is a shame, because they're worth so damn much. Um, I mean, right now it makes sense to get rid of the emeralds for the tapestries, doesn't it? But, no, we'll, we'll get rid of the jades, because they're worth about the same amount. Sorry, jades, you're going. Uh, you can take this, because this will give you a nice bonus until camp. Okay, we don't need to go down that way at all, which is nice. We do unfortunately have to use another shovel here, so we've only got one shovel left, which is a little scary, but I imagine it should be okay, considering the scouting that we've got so far. Oh, nice one. He tried to steal a map, but we still got to see it. That was a very terrible map, though. I have to say, Renault, that was a very terrible map. Okay. I, I, I genuinely can't believe how well this group is doing. This group is doing so fantastically. It's amazing. And we're definitely going to go and fight the Shambler at this rate. We, we can we can handle it. We can handle it. Ooh, that's new. That thing is definitely new. Critting it for 23 immediately definitely makes me feel better about its existence and critting it for 34 immediately after. It's new, but it's gone. Oh my, is it gone. It's so very gone. Oh my god, three crits back to back to back. Could you get any better? Okay, we definitely need a big heal here. Nine's not going to do it. We'll try and stall out here. We'll stall out a little bit. Oh, uh, maybe not. Oh, my God, the dodge. Nice. Um, yeah, let's stall out for another heal on you. And this will do it. There you go. I can't believe we got three back-to-back -back crits. That was amazing. Um, and we can take, we can actually take this again. Oh my god, plus 40 damage and then plus 50 damage. Plus eight, oh my god. We, we can't, we can't afford to camp right now. She has plus 90% damage. Like, watch this. Almost killed two enemies straight off the bat. Oh, Shocker's pretty bad on her. That's fine though, we can deal with it. Oh, that didn't kill you, that's annoying. Uh, we're gonna make sure he dies. I don't want the stress. My god, this group. Need to get the spear there, that's fine. Nice dodge. Well, I said dodge, you missed. Same thing. Get rid of you. Wow, you're dead too. We'll get a full heal going here. I think we should have a party heal coming up next. There you go. Everyone's on pretty much zero stress as well. It's just crazy, this. Wow. What a group. 
What a group this is. If there was any time that we could take on the Shambler, it is today. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. We got another shovel back, which is useful if we end up having two here. Unlikely, but we, it could happen. We don't have any. Okay. So make sure not to end the mission after this. I've done that too many times before. Nice disarm there, Dismas. A little bit of extra loot. Okay, yeah, just make sure to continue adventuring. Make sure to continue adventuring. Right, we need to kill that big fish thing again, because we still don't really know what it does. No big crits this time, but we're dealing 21 damage on a normal hit. It's just insane. It's dead. Who knows what it does? We'll never know. <laughs> I misplayed slightly here and I've, I've uh, disorganized my people in a pretty bad way, honestly. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've messed this up a little bit. Let's move you to the front. You're gonna take some damage. We can heal it up, don't worry. We can probably stall this combat a little bit to get some extra healing, actually. Open veins on you for that bleed. Holy lance on the body. Yeah, let's stall. Oh, that's what we needed. That's what we needed right there. There you go. And you're dead to bleed, right? You're dead to bleed. Great. Nice. Love to see it. Right, continue adventuring. Let's open this up. Five keys right now. My god. Uh, right, reorganize. Right, we've got to head back down. We might have to go through some combat again on the way back down. Let me also do one thing and just go and make sure exactly how we fight the Shambler. Shambler's altar. Just to make sure I know exactly how to trigger it. Because I, I kind of remember. Uh, right. Um, that Lex dropping ancestral trinkets when killed when traveling with your uh, the trauma may appear. Um, or when a torch. Wait a minute. Re replacing any hallway fight one percent chance. Uh, or when a torch is used on a shambler's altar, which also sets the light to zero every turn. Okay, so we've got to you've got to use a torch on the altar. That's how we trigger this fight. This is spooky. I agree, and it's it's a little it's a little uh, little spicy, and I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that it automatically messes up your your order of everyone. Like when you start the fight, it, uh, it rearranges everyone. So a good idea would be to rearrange people before going in. We have a pretty movable group here, to be honest. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to camp because that's going to remove this. As much as camping could help people. I'm not going to camp because it will remove all of that. Nice bit of stress reduction there. I think it's this one here, isn't it? Yeah, so... I'll rearrange my group before going in, so when they get rearranged in the fight, I'm in a better position. Or hopefully in a better position. I can open this now, actually, as well, can't I? Good, good. And I think that's going to be for the best. So we've got to use a torch on it. So, let's move you to here. Then you to here. There you go. Let's do that. Head in. Make sure you can still use your heal from back. You can still use this heal from anywhere, so that's fine. I'm only worried about you really being out of position. I think we can rearrange relatively quickly. So let's go up to this thing, put a torch on it. And here we go. Here we go. There we go. It rearranged people, honestly, in, in kind of the worst way it possibly could have done. But that's all right. Uh, let's buff up. Um, let's buff up you. You're going to be our main damage dealer here. Holy Lance. Open veins. You being, you being in this position is not great. We apparently we take a lot of stress on this fight. There you go, get rid of that thing. Ow. Um, I'm not going to Holy Lance here. I'm instead going to Stress Relief. I want to I wanna get everyone rearranged. There you go. Let's get people rearranged, ready. Ow. 
That's a lot of blight. It's a lot of blight coming out here. Don't worry about it, though. That stress is definitely a problem. We can deal with it, though. We can deal with it. Nice party heal there. Great. Do us advance on you. Oh, I moved you to the front again. Stop doing that, you fool. It's really stupid. <laughs> really stupid. Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The stress is going to get real high here, but do not fear. I'm really getting annoyed at accidentally mixing everyone around, though. I'm just going to go for the kill, though. Make sure we party heal here, even though we probably could have got the kill on that right there. There we go. There's the kill. We've still got to kill this little thing here. Shouldn't be too hard. That did not kill it. I'm surprised. I'm still going to heal everyone just in case this thing spawns more. I don't actually remember. Shouldn't have done that. Can you please die, you little tentacle? I <laughs> keep messing up with Venus. There you go. It's dead. Okay. Definitely scary, but we got our first ancestral trinket. Um, we can get rid of that. Take that. Get rid of them, take that, get rid of that, take that. And there you go. Um, we don't have any torches left. We had a curio over here. Nice, okay, let's, ju let's just back out while we're safe. That was a lot of stress, but we got an ancestral trinket for it, so I think it was worth it. And for a long mission, that was, that was pretty quick. We had a lot of money there. We got everyone in this party up to level three. Um, eh, that's that's not good to be honest. Plus twenty plus twenty stress when idling town for a week. What? That's terrible. <laughs> We're definitely getting rid of that as soon as possible. Right. Um, so one second before we do anything, let's just go click on embark. Make sure everyone's detrinketified. Good, good. But that was that was the best it could have ever been. Like that that was a really good mission through and through, and then it just it got even better. Right. So let's let's do a few things here. So definitely gonna get rid of um gonna get rid of that because that sounds awful. Then, Renault, you can go for some stress relief. You can pray. And honestly, everything, everyone else is kind of fine here. Uh, let's check on... Not the tavern, sorry. Let's check on our stagecoach, see if we've got anyone we want to take on. We do have a banished hunter at level 2. We'll take on a banished hunter. A 65th hero, so that'll be a good one for next time. Um, and we'll have a little look-see. Who else we want to take on? Let's see what trinkets we have available to us. Um, interesting. Then we also have... We have some of these now that we can't obviously afford yet, but there's some interesting trinkets here. Certainly. We can definitely save up some of them in the future. And of course, we have some of these big boys that we definitely want to be saving up for. I think these are some of the best trinkets in the game. Of course, it become a, a pretty hefty cost. Uh, let's have a look at some of the ones. Plus 20 armor piercing, plus 7 crit, plus uh, 10 damage is, is amazing for our ballist. Vestal gets prot minus crit received. That's kind of interesting. Uh, getting that prot and minus crits received is pretty nice. Um, Crusader. Ooh, damn. Plus 30% virtue chance. That's really good. Uh, Fodulant is pretty cool. Bounty Hunter only. A lot of extra marked bonuses there. Straight up damage and accuracy is pretty good there too. Um... Another 25% virtue chance. There's some interesting virtue chance based things here. Could play around with that quite a lot and end up getting some pretty cool builds. But that was a, that was a pretty good, damn good battle out there. And then we have some more diary entries here. Um, this one here is by Aaron the Exorcist. 
The team I had assembled, uh, for, this is by TA as well, by the way. The team I had assembled returned with my dear friend the Friar, shaking but unharmed. I went to speak to him in the church to discuss what he'd found. He claimed that the heroes of the Hamlet were simply going to unearth a greater evil upon this world, one that would wretch the ancestor, the wretched ancestor had yet to find, and that he, they should be disbanded. When I admitted the allegiance with these heroes and their cause, he forced me out in a fit of anger and locked the doors. Even if we find a greater evil, it's my duty or our duty to slay it. Another great one there. Then we have another one here. Same, uh, by the same person to you. Uh, this is for Berthold, our man at arms. I find myself acting more and more aching more and more every day as I watch men like Rune, my brother in arms, and Mirabri, an excellent pupil, fighting on with growing strength despite their old age and decaying bodies, respectively. I wish to join them in a, the glory of battle, beating back an encroaching evil. What better than dispelling a soldier to rally them? A disciplined soldier to rally them. Very good there. A lot of people that really want to make their way out and get get some more see some more combat. So we'll try and we'll try and make sure of that uh, in these in these coming runs here. We can probably do another run here. Um interesting plus additional plus two additional heal is good let's let's take a look at some trinkets and try and go for what's what's best here uh, of course we've got some bosses that we probably don't want to get involved with yet we probably want to be a bit more prepared for the bosses that we that we've got available here the vestal trinket there fury wow Doubles the stress healing received from crits will never virtue and plus eight percent crit. That would be amazing. Amazing on rune. That'd be so good. I feel like the sun got some got some really interesting ones here. Really interesting ones. I'm not exactly sure where we want to go here. Um maybe we'll just go on to a medium apprentice mission and level some people up. Let's let's try and do that, shall we? We'll bring out Octavia. Alexander can go out for the first time. Berthold can go up in front here, and we'll bring out uh, our barbarian Henry Jekyll here, and see how these guys perform. I think this should be a pretty, a pretty damn good group. Let's buff everyone up. So first of all, you get the double healing skills. Does make his health pretty bad, pretty bad. Um, my, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't actually know if we can do that. Let's not bring that with us because that's going to hurt too much. That is going to hurt far too much. Let's go with... Let's just give him some prot, shall we? Hey, you can just have some prot so you don't die. Uh, Octavia, what do you want to bring with you? Let's go with extra accuracy and dodge plus the resell value. See if see if that works out for you. Um, and again, we'll probably go with more prot on you. Where's our other prot trinket? We have a few prot trinkets now, and I can never remember which is which. Um, where are we looking here? There they are. A bit less speed, but I think that's fine. Better vault. I think with you, we can go... I don't know actually. What should what should we go with with Bearfault here? Um, he's already got really really high, um, really really high maximum HP, so we don't need to worry about that too much. I think we just want to buff up his damage a bit, maybe, and make him a little little stronger. So let's whack that on him there. And what else can he take with him? Hmm, this is a difficult one to choose between. Actually, let's just whack. I don't know, should we go with the focus ring? He doesn't really need dodge. Eh, it seems a bit wasteful. Let's go with that. Up his HP and prot there. And then you can get the, the maximum damage build that we had going on before. So you're going to take on this here for the 25% damage from position 1. I don't think we have any unholy. We only have beast. So we have to find another way of upping your damage. What's our next best damage increase? We have 10% there. I actually think we probably just go for this. But then these two cancel each other out quite badly. They really do. They cancel each other out pretty darn badly. I can't remember what we played with this with this guy before. What we, what we put on him. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Maybe we'll just go like this and take the resolve XP. And ha uh, make a deal with that. And just try and get a bit more XP out of this. Uh, let's just check what, um, what we have going on here. So here we have... Uh, this increases the stress. It deals bleed and blight and cause disease. That doesn't seem that good. Uh, this heals between 1 and 5. It cures. It causes a disease, uh, but it gives him some self-healing. It debuffs him. This is a nice party heal with some self-stress relief. Um, the tranquilizer. Wow. That debuffs the target a lot. And... Yeah, I, I don't know. There's some this 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 guy's odd. We're probably gonna be using these two mainly. Mainly this one. This one seems great. With that party heal. Um Yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll we'll try that out. And let's uh let's head out here into the into the ruins, shall we? Take some more food with us. I think we're gonna need about twenty. Take four of those. Three, 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 and about twenty of those. Good, good. I think we're set to go. This group is a bit of a ragtag group, definitely. But I think we can make it work. And again, we have some more diary entries coming in here. Um, have a little look-see. We have this one here from Cell. Um, this is for Harathan. While time may have lost all meaning for me, the rest of them still, still feel its effects. I can see how much it has washed away their strength. Perhaps the same has happened to me. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, let's head out. Get ready. Uh, complete 100% room battles. We kind of have to check every room here. If it was anywhere near, if it's going to be anywhere near as quick and as overpowered as that last build, we'll absolutely tear through this. But we'll see how we go. I'm a bit worried about our healing here. We don't have the most guaranteed ways of healing right now. Ow, a bit of blight on us there. Bit of bleed, sorry. Um, let's just buff everyone's dodge. I really like the uh, the sort of keep buffing dodge build that you can get going on here. Bit of bleed on you, nice. Remember that with this guy, we're dealing between 5 and 30% damage, so it, it really does depend on how we roll to how well we do. A little bit of a stick in us there, that doesn't matter. These guys in the back line are actually going to be kind of hard to hit, I think. Keep buffing that dodge up. Don't worry about it there. We want to be activating repost really with this guy. Throw that out, get a bit of blight on you. We'll just take out one of these bodies. Get this a little closer. Bring him bring him into the damage zone. And let's set up our repost this turn, I think. Keep buffing that dodge up. Keep it going. This time let's go with a party heal. I think with just that party heal, we're going to have enough here to do what we want. Kind of make this work. There's that 21 hit we're looking for. Those big, big hits. And now I think we can do this. Get that blight damage on you. Actually, let's stack the blight. Keep it going. Eight damage around. Oh, I was hoping that would kill him. It didn't quite, but nice dodge there. Doesn't matter nonetheless. 27. Henry Jackal really turns into an absolute barbarian when he needs to some crazy damage. Got to remember, we want to be looting everything with Octavia here. Octavia is going to be giving us some much needed extra coin. Which I very much like to see. Head in here. Map inside. Decent enough. Actually, a, a, a good amount of scouting here. A good amount of scouting. Could have saved myself some time there by waiting before scouting. There's a trap we've revealed here. Uh, who's got the best trap to Sam here? 70, 70, 70. We've all got 70, so let's take it on Xavier. Um, she already has some stress. It'd be nice to get rid of it. Frankly, it was only two stress, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but... Victory. What happens sometimes? Crate is empty, unfortunately. Not getting too lucky with these. Nice disarms, though. We're getting definitely lucky with the disarms. On a 70% chance, I'm very happy to see that. Okay, I've got one of these Eldritch Horrors. Um, Blight. Let's just go with the Blight on you. Get that started off. Try and take out one of these. It's, it's, it is a little annoying when uh, when Henry only strikes for like eight when he could strike for so much more. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge him too harshly. It's fine. 
it will be okay. Okay, uh, we did get our uh, surgeon here, Alexander, pulled to the front, which isn't ideal. But <laughs> pull him to the front, push him to the back. Pull him to the front, push him to the back. Literally just switch his positions back and forth there. We need to get this guy dead before he starts to observe us. That could be a problem. Okay, he's one off dead. Ah. Balls. That's exactly what we didn't want to happen. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, or haven't seen previously, when uh, when one of your players gets uh, observed, sorry, basically those enemies can show up much more often while they are in the party, which is going to lead to some situations that lead to more damage or more stress. Specifically, more stress. So, let's, let's hope we can take care of this swiftly. Try and take care of you as quick as possible. Nice, 28 hit there. We like to see that early on. Bumping the knight's going to kill you. Repost is super powerful. It's going to hurt a little bit. But most people dodged it, actually. That is a lot of damage there, but we should be okay. Just heal party again here. And keep going with that. Plus 14 dodge. There you go. That's what. That's where the dodge is coming in huge. While well, we're getting dodges and repurse at the same time. Smack you down. And I think this will kill you. A crit for one. Lovely, I guess. I guess, I guess I'm happy with that. Okay, let's take... Or, or we weren't, because you are uh, obsessed with sainthood. Which, I mean... Plus 20% damage until camp. Oh, I saw that trap on the map and everything. I'm stupid. Don't worry about it, though. We'll get some healing going on. I'm a little worried about the stress. Stress is getting up there. We don't really have any ways of taking care of stress here, either. That crit most certainly does not help. That crit does, though. Okay, let's carry on with the, with the big heals here. Nice hit for 20 there, Henry. Nice hit for 20. Keep this going. We're going to take quite a lot of stress here, and I reckon they're going to focus Berthold as well. Yep. Yep. The way It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Doctor, come on. Alexander, we need you. Nice party heal there. Doesn't do too much against our 48 HP here, but it's enough. Get some dodge going on. 51 stress isn't good. 10 damage is all it takes to finish that off, though. Nice one, Henry. And 23 on a crit there. Avenge yourself in a major way here. Open that up. Meh. Bleed duration to apply isn't exactly the most important thing in the world. I don't, I'm not worrying about that too much. Another hunger check here. We're getting a bit low on food. Not extremely so. We've got six of these already though, which is great. Unfortunately, they're the only heirlooms we've found so far, which is a shame. It'd be nice to see some uh, some different ones coming up. Only these ones. Still seven of them's pretty good, though. This guy, Henry needs to take this guy out straight away. Henry needs to slice this guy down in a single sweep, if he could. That would be fantastic. Who knows if that's going to be the case here. Crit for eight. Come on, Henry. You can do this. Come on, Henry. Henry, you missed. <laughs> Henry, you missed. You didn't even hit him. We needed you to take him down in a single hit. And you didn't even hit him once. God damn it, Henry. God damn it. Okay, that repose is going to do us good. Finish you off with a crushing blow here. This guy's going to keep buffing his damage. Come on. There we go. The single swipe is what we needed. That is exactly what we're looking for, Henry. Alexander's taking a beating. Every, every ranged... Attacker seems to really want to hurt him, as you can see. Um, do this. Doesn't mess us up too much. I'm just trying out some of his other skills rather than just his basic attack. Keep going on this. It's doing well. Okay, we've got a lot of bodies in the way here, which is problematic for us right now. 
Ow. I think we can finish you off with uh, with one of these, though. That should do you. And that will definitely do you. That will most certainly finish you off. Right, you're on 60% as well. You better, you better succeed here. Bethel, why? <laughs> 70%. Bethel, could you not just try a bit harder? Wow, this is... We are getting really screwed by random combat right now. And also, Bethel, do you do you just love stress or something? Everyone's attracted to you. I, I there must be, there must be a thing built into the game. Um, we need to switch over here. There must be a thing built into the game that purposely makes it so that when you have higher stress, the stress dealers target you more. It's not random chance. It can't be. Because it happens all the time. Look, again. Hey, you got a pretty big stress reduction there. Nice. I like it. Probably going to camp after this. Only 10. Shame. I'll kill you, good. No more turns for you. Bolster. Should be using Bolster more, really. It's very good. That'll finish you off, I think. No, not quite, not quite. Let's just finish you off. Not letting you live through that. And now you'll definitely die to the blight. Good, good, good. Um, Throwing that away. We've already got one of those. Rearrange. Grab that. Ten of these now, my god. Yeah, this this room that's coming up on up on now will definitely uh, camp after this. Wow, food is we are chomping through it, absolutely chomping through it. Unless, yeah, I guess this is a non-combat room. I'm fine with going through to this. So true. Still only getting those. Surprising. Get a surprise here is really nice. Do that. This isn't going to bleed you, but it does good damage, so I'm fine with it. Light you. Finish you. No, the miss. That'll finish you, though. The miss there is terrible, though. Oh, my God. He didn't go for Bethel. My God. It's crazy. Eldritch pull. You dodged both of those. Awesome. This should finish you off. I think everything's dead now. Blight kills them all. Smack you just in case we get a crit. This expedition at least promises success. Ah, Octavia. You fool. Right, into this room. Camping away. Right. Let's see. Henry can't really do much to help anyone here. Um don't think we have prevent nighttime ambush either, which is a pain. And we don't have produce random trinket either set up, which is annoying. Uh, let's just get the stress reductions going as much as we can. And then we can go with this. And then we have to, unfortunately, maybe get a nighttime ambush. And we did. Shame. And here's the horrors we're observed, remember. This is probably going to be pretty bad. These things are tough. Let's go with dodge. That's huge, Henry. That is huge. Luckily, everyone can still do everything from most positions. That hurts. Yeah. The stress is coming in hot and heavy. Nice dodge. Keep going with the dodge train. Kill you straight dead. Get you. Scarred you. Although we're probably gonna take more stress now though. Oh the stress. No! You can deal up to 30 damage and you'll deal seven! God damn you! <laughs> you dealt seven, you 
Lazy bastard. My god. Stop making us use bare thought. Henry, you really screwed this up, didn't you? You really screwed this up. God damn, that went badly. Shouldn't have camped at all. Would have been way better off. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. So Bethalt's in a bit of a bad way here. Did we just give up? We just gave those up, didn't we? God damn it. Stress bat is not good here. Okay. Need some healing, surgeon. We need some healing. Alexander, please help. It's enough for now. Ow. Get that repurse going. Set that up early. Henry, I need you to get a one-shot kill here. I need you to get a one-shot kill here. Good. Everyone's taking a bit too much damage now, and it's scaring me. We're getting near to the end of this. Don't, don't let us fail now. I knew that you'd refuse. I had a feeling you'd refuse healing. Now that you're bleeding as well. Finish you off. I kind of want to attack this guy with a surgeon, because that's going to mean he takes a stress rather than everyone else. But we're going to have to do it with you. One shot kills, though. That sorts it out easily for us. Of course you refuse healing, you fucking stupid... God damn it, Bethel. You really wanted to come out, didn't you? You really wanted to get out there, and you stressed out your bloody mind. That's what you get. You can't handle it. You've waited too long. There you go. Return to the hamlet. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. But this should be a very decent payday. 27 grand. Everyone's nearer to level 3 than they were. Lots of nice stuff here. Lots of nice stuff. Everyone's doing just okay now. Oh my god, right. Let's sort these guys out. Get their trinkets off of them. That 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 was that was scary. Their thought there towards the end got a bit worrisome, didn't it? Uh, we're gonna want to do some uh, do some stress healing here for Bearthold, I think. Peace for meditation. You can meditate, and I think we'll do some Octavia stress healing as well. You can pray to a higher power. Right, let's see what we got going on here. We've already got one of those. Um, wow, that would have been nice for earlier on, wouldn't it? Plus 20 accuracy after the first round. Plus 4. I mean, both of these seem amazing, right? Like, plus 20 accuracy and plus 4 speed. So the first round is, is kind of crap. But after the first round, you do amazingly well. But you're pretty much guaranteed to miss your first attack. That seems pretty good to me. And then plus 15 damage. And plus 5. I suppose the, the, the plus... Um, that's also pretty good for the Keeper. Uh, I suppose the, the plus 10% damage received is pretty bad. I'm going to buy this because I think we can make some use out of that. Uh, let's check these. See if there's anything we really, really want here. Although we have to spend pretty much all of our money. It would be kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. There's definitely some good ones here. I don't think we'll take anything today. Let's have a look what's in our stagecoach. We have a higher level Aculite of the Sun, I think. I think that's an upgrade right there. Where is our Aculite of the Sun? Oh wait, no, Nori's already level 3. It's no problem then, no problem. 
Okay, everyone's looking pretty good. We've got plenty of money to, to save over for our bank. I think this is going to be a really good place to end off this episode. We'll go through our last few. Uh, I think it's our last one, actually, diary entry. We have one by uh, TA, and this is by, uh, for Nick, our jester. We fought in a mad place where even the dirt withered with chaos. A misma that snuck into your head and, feared, and fed on your fears and doubts. I could feel the piercing shards of insanity closing in on us, yet a tool so simple as a loot pushed it away. I feel like shepherding, guiding my allies, and I do it all again. Great. Absolutely love those. Yes, hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Another really, really good one. We got a lot done there. And we fought our first shamble, which was pretty awesome. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.